Good morning. I'm leaving today and I just want to show you guys the, the nature channel from my Gur, right? Yeah. There you go. That's the live nature channel right there. Goodbye, Gur. Goodbye, biting flies. That's the only thing I won't miss. Goodbye, turkeys. See you at Thanksgiving. Just kidding. Just kidding. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, man. Take care of that arm. Yes, of course. <laughs> this is the camp I was at Dream Adventures, Mongolia. Oh, here we go. That's my favorite part. This is supposed to be like a pretty fancy hotel in Mongolia, which, yeah, it's nice. It just, it just looks like a regular, <laughs> regular hotel room. It's like a desk and then the abyss. I don't know what that is. Nice bed, couple of waters. Please slippers, please slippers. <sighs> oh, slippers. And it doesn't smell. My biggest complaint about the J Hotel was the bathroom was so moldy smelling. The bathroom here is super nice. It's got an electronic toilet. Like all Asian bathrooms should. And this is a welcoming site. Nice shower. Oh, the tea is nice. I'm just gonna keep these. Oh, my back is killing me. But like I was saying in the car, this is the place I went to, Dream Adventure Mongolia. It is not sponsored. I, I pay just like anybody else. But it's such a great deal. The city of uh, Ulaanbaatar is, I feel like maybe a day or two, that's all you need here. But really going out to the wilderness of Mongolia and staying with the people, kind of kind of experiencing that nomadic life, that I feel like is the best part of a Mongolian vacation. And this place is such a great deal because it's 75 per night per person. And well, you get a bed in a gur and you share that with uh, I think three other people if there is other people there. Um, you get three deliciously cooked meals a day. You get two hours of horse riding. It sounds like an advertisement. It's not. Like I said, it's not sponsored. I paid full price just like anybody else. But it's a really good place. So I want to recommend it to you guys who are traveling to Mongolia. The only thing I didn't like was the biting flies. If that was somehow eliminated. I don't know. Like in the future, if somebody could just please invent a fly and mosquito shield. Because that did get really, really annoying. Because I'm sitting there in the shade. I'm enjoying myself. The weather is nice. And then you just hear the buzzing in your ear. It's like the worst thing. But people were so nice i got to meet a lot of my fellow travelers and we became like really quick friends so it's kind of like waking up among your amongst your friends every day and, and go and going horse riding together so i had a fantastic time leaving mongolia tomorrow but cannot leave without getting some lamb barbecue skewers skewers are cooking these like giant grills and i feel bad for these guys because they're wearing like long sleeves and looks like thick shirts and it's already hot out here i can't imagine what it's like in there here we go mongolian lamb skewer gave it to you on a sword i love that mm, look how juicy this is this is the most delicious food sword ever see all that lamb grease is drippy oh that's some nice barbecue and they're also selling like these drinks i think i don't know what they're made out of Juju bee drink. This is awesome. Just be careful not to stab yourself. Oh, and check this out, guys. This last piece, I, I was poking it. I thought it was like maybe just tender meat, but this is just a whole big piece of fat right here. All fat. Oh, I can't wait for this. Here it is. The last piece of meat on the skewer. It, it's just a solid piece of fat. That's all this is. Grilled, juicy, drippy fat. Oh, if you're a fat lover like me, Man, that is fantastic. Fat's all charred and melty. You got a little chew on the outside, but inside, that thing just melts in your mouth. You know what this would be good with? I think if I put this on a piece of bread and then just make a fat sandwich out of this bread. Let's uh, put a piece of cucumber on here so we don't die from eating this. Yep, that is just a fat sandwich. Literally. Mm. Grilled, charred piece of fat. But it's okay to eat this because my, my piece of cucumber, it balances everything out. This is how you catch a cab in Mongolia. Just put your hands up and get into the car that stops for you. And hope for all the best. Let's go home. It is three o'clock in the morning and it's pouring outside in Mongolia. This is rare.
this is. I've actually never seen this until today, so if you knew what this was, good for you. So you take this in acid pill Tom's looking thing and you pour some water on it. <gasps> Watch it grow! It's growing! It's growing! Ooh! Magic! And then, and then it's a wipe. You can wipe your hands. Yay, love this. Oh, this rice drink's awesome too. Fresh aloe, yes please. Oh, I love this tea too. Sure, I'll take some grape juice. Yeah, I'm really thirsty right now. What was supposed to happen today was uh, supposed to fly Mongolian Airlines to Busan, Korea, which I am at right now, and then I'm supposed to fly to JFK from here. But I just found out that they changed my flight, and now I'm flying to Tokyo, and from there I'm flying back to JFK. Now you guys know how much I love Japan, so why are the airplane gods torturing me? Let's go to Japan! <laughs> Wow, those are pungent. Here we have some rolled eel with egg omelet, some of the shrimp taro and seaweed, broad beans, smoked salmon chive roll, cream tea soba noodle, sauteed chicken with Japanese pepper soya sauce, deep fried Alaskan rockfish, honey and fruit mousse with orange cream, and some miso soup. All this actually looks really, really good. Wow, it's frozen tofu inside the miso soup as well. That's quality miso soup. First time I was ever served miso soup with frozen tofu, and frozen tofu, what's really great about that is it's spongy, so it soaks up all that soup. Better finish this before the turbulence starts. The eel in an egg omelet looks awesome. Mm. That's surprisingly refreshingly good. I thought this was pork belly, but this is actually sauteed chicken. They somehow minced the chicken and they shaped it into this. And here you got the chicken skin, a little bit of the meat. So a lot of different textures in this bite. This is interesting. Seaweed wrapped around taro. I'm not a big fan of taro, otherwise the flavor's good. The broad beans, that was like a dessert. I love soba noodles. Mm, that's refreshing. Nice wasabi flavor. You know what can make this better? Put the chicken on top of this. Give it a little protein. Mm. Fish has really good flavor. But also it's pretty gooey because it's been sitting in the sauce for a long time. But the flavor of the fish itself is excellent. Honey and fruit mousse. It looks really good. Oh, oh that's delicious. This is some of the best dessert I've ever had on an airplane. This thing's got real orange pieces in here. And then I think some walnuts. Man, this is excellent. The food from this airline, top notch. This is some of the best food I've had on a plane. Really, really good. I'm at the JAL lounge in Narita Airport in Tokyo. I couldn't get anything to eat from the lounge because there was always a sign that says there's too many people at the dining area. But if my last meal is of any indication, there's gonna be some good food on that plane. I hope. All right, this is the long one. Almost home though.
Wow, so I, I, I didn't know business class had middle seats, but apparently it does. This is business class JAL. So usually the business class planes I was on, there's typically um, one row of seats by the windows and then two rows in the middle. But here, there's two rows by the windows and three rows here. So I am in the middle, the middle seat of business class. So you basically gotta go through this little slot here and that's how you get to your seat. Slippers, headphones. This definitely looks like one of the most dated um, business classes I've been in. Screen is nice and big. There is a lot of living room, but I guess the trade off is you got neighbors here and you got neighbors here. Tissues, earplugs, lip balm, toothbrush. Yep, all the usual suspects are here. Where's my lotion? Not that I ever use lotion, but still, where's my lotion? Although this is the middle seat, I feel like this is the most privacy I've ever gotten on an airplane before. So it's dinner time. Also, you can order anything you want off the menu. Literally just sitting here in anticipation, waiting for the dinner menu. Oh my god, there's free Wi-Fi. This flight is awesome. Privacy, free Wi-Fi? If the food is good, this may be my favorite flight camera. like A and A, this menu is broken down to Japanese menu and a Western menu. Western menu looks good. Ooh, Wagyu? If that's real Wagyu, that's gonna be delicious. Whoa, Japanese style stewed beef tongue. As much as I love steak, as much as I love Wagyu, this is a Japanese airline. You gotta go with the Japanese menu. This is pretty fun. Um, this is the sesame oil, I guess. And you stick it into the tofu and you inject the sesame oil into the tofu, which of course just spurts all out because tofu is pretty dense. There's really no air pockets in here. Some wasabi, not too much. This thing almost tastes more like a mochi than it does tofu. The tuna confit, which just kind of looks like a tuna salad here. It just kind of tastes like canned tuna. I mean, I like canned tuna. Thank you. Look at this, it's like a gift box. First of all, this is really pretty. Little origami crane. And I guess it's my birthday. I'm opening up a present that is also my dinner. Okay, this is a lot harder. Ooh. How pretty is that? That's one thing about all Japanese airlines. They got their presentation skills down. Look at this work of art. This is eel with cucumber with mustard, vinegar, miso, sweet simmered sweet potato, avocado, and syrup, simmered octopus, and simmered pumpkin, and deep fried eggplant. This is Japanese soba with spicy cod roll. This is summer vegetables with kami seaweed. Look at this. This is like an egg roll sandwich. Sweet potatoes and apricot. <laughs> That's the craziest thing. Eggs are cold but so light and fluffy, and I never had eggs with apricot before. This eel kind of looks like guacamole. Wow, it's good. Mm. It's my favorite thing so far. Delicious. Kind of weird. This is like vegetables under citrus soy jelly. That's a little funky. It's not bad. I'm not in love with that jelly though. A little bite of soba. Not my favorite. Finally, the simmered squid. And this is a deep fried eggplant. It's like something from people's nightmares. Everything here is definitely vinegar to yield. Mm. Mm. Beef tongue. I love beef tongue. See this thing break apart like that? Look at it. You gotta treat this thing like a baby. Be super gentle with it. I call that a chewing optional piece of beef. If you don't want to chew, you don't have to. I think the fish is okay. I mean, it's, it's just really salty, a bit fishy. It doesn't have too much other flavor. It's pretty good though. Ripped in cake. It's not bad, it's a little too sweet for me. I've been wanting to do something for a long time. I only slept two hours last night. I gotta go to bed. Good night. 
kid you not, the entire time I was sleeping, I dreamed that I was back in Mongolia riding horses. So much so that I think I woke up an appetite in my dreams and I need something to eat now. This is my bowl of hot udon noodles. See some green beans, mushrooms, sesame seeds. Nothing like a nice piping hot brothy bowl of udon noodle soup right after a long horse ride in Mongolia in your dreams, yeah. Really good. These noodles itself don't look that flavorful, but this broth is seasoned really nicely. Mm -hmm. oh, this is awesome. Noodles are springy and chewy. The flavor is actually seeped all the way through. This is a good bowl of noodle. Let's see what other goodies they have. They actually have squid balls here. That's probably not that good. Oh man, that ramen actually looks delicious. You can actually order a set menu here anytime you want. Look at this. What? I really love the whole food ordering system this airline provides. The amounts of varieties available to you outside of your set meals. That's really awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Bye I feel like with a Japanese airline, you've got to gauge its food quality based on how good their ramen is. This one at first glance it definitely passes the eyeball test. I mean, look at this. A couple slices of seaweed, what looks like onions, marinated eggs. The only bad thing is the yolk is not all that runny. The broth looks really flavorful. The ramen looks like it's got some shoot. It's like a solid bowl of ramen. Yep, a lot of onions, a lot of scallions. Let's dip our seaweed in there. Ooh. It's got a ton of flavor. Mm. This is awesome. The noodles are in dente, got a great chew to them. These noodles and this broth, I might like this just as much or even more than the ANA ramen, which I really love. Oh, yeah, the broth's real. That, that broth is nice. Took out the eggs and you didn't tell me this was from an airplane. I would never think airplane food. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Uh, I need some ice cream. A magical food genie remote. Push some buttons and good food just miraculously show up. If I had one of these things at home, I would just never leave the house. Some ice cream and some Moana. This is the life. <sighs> That's it, finally home. Anyway, I had a blast in Korea and Mongolia exploring my heritage that, that I didn't know I was a part of. It'll probably go down as one of my most memorable trips. And thank you guys so much for following along. I'll see you later.